Hey, what is going on guys? Watson KHD here. Welcome back. It has been quite some time since I last uploaded a video. I honestly do apologize guys. I really don't get a lot of free time where I can just dedicate it to making videos and I honestly I do extremely apologize but hopefully the content that I do bring albeit very rarely hopefully you guys enjoy it and hopefully you guys like it now guys I'm gonna be a bit cheeky here and ask you to do me a massive favor one of my best friends has just started streaming over on twitch and it's something he's always wanted to do and he's finally given it a shot so hopefully this is something that he can make a career out of and do something he he absolutely loves he is putting an insane amount of effort in guys he streams multiple games regularly including fallout 76 which is of course one of the main reasons why i'm mentioning it to you in this video in particular chances are if you're watching this then you like fallout this guy is amazing at fallout he puts the time in and because of that he knows a lot of different tricks you can do, he knows a lot of farming routes you can take, he knows just a bunch of different things, and chances are as well, if he's streaming, he'll be with the rest of the boys, so that way you get to have a laugh along with all of us as well. So guys, go check out his Twitch channel, Sir Death Jr. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. Please go show him some love, guys. It will mean the absolute world to him. Thank you. Anyway guys, with that out of the way, for our first video back, I thought I'd show you a bunch of different locations where you can find rare and unique items that you can use as either some nice decoration in your camp, you know, it's always cool to show us some rare items, or if you're a collector, you can add them to your collection. I love going around collecting rare and unique items in literally every game that I can possibly do it in, and this game is no exception. And what makes it even better is that we're actually already at the very first location. So head on over to the Hillfolk Hot Dogs. You can get here by heading you know, south of Bowl 76 or just head west of um, Flatwoods right here on the map. And uh, you'll get to this kind of bus that's been converted to like a hot dog and burger stand. And I quite like the idea of that. It's actually really cool. But we're not here for that. We're here for this little house. So let's go ahead, head inside. Oh, there's going to be some like rad rats and possibly some other uh, enemies outside. Just take them out. They're very low level, so don't worry too much. But head inside this blue house, head to the back, and on this fridge, you're going to find a cow magnet or a souvenir magnet cow, as they call it in this game. But that is really cool. There's also a shopping list in case you want to pick up a shopping list. More beer, smokes, meat, paper plates, napkins, and beans. So there you go. And um, if we head on over to the junk section, here we go, the souvenir magnet cow. And it actually looks pretty damn cool. Um, just hang this up on a display, hang this, place this in a display case, and people are definitely gonna be asking, you know, where did you get this? Considering as this is the only location I've seen it. It also gives you two copper and two ceramic in case you want to scrap it, but why would you do that? For our next location, you want to head just south of Newgad until you reach this location on the map. And um, you're going to come across this rock. And in front of this rock, there's going to be a Teddy Fear, as well as a .308 casing. A casing. So not actual ammo, just a casing. And it's weird because... As far as I know, this is the only location where it spawned. I haven't seen it anywhere else. But it's cool. It's unique. People are definitely going to ask about it. And, uh, well, yeah, you can just find it south of Newgad if you'd like to add that to your collection. Okay, guys, so for the next item, this could actually be found just south of the crater. You're going to be up on this little hill cliff kind of thing here. And uh, if we turn around, you can see this uh, kind of outpost, I guess you can say. Or maybe like an outlook tower. Or something I don't quite know but if we head inside and look on the metal shelving you are gonna find a flight data recorder I believe there are a couple of other locations where you can find this I know that this is a definite lo uh, spawn location for this item and it's again just a cool unique item very weird something that you don't really see Coming up for the next item guys we are at Gilman lumber mill this can be found just south of 76 and uh, if we head inside of this uh, kind of barn thing on the right and head up the metal stairs, we will be able to find this giant lumberjack saw. This is huge. And you can pick it up. 
Now unfortunately guys, this is one of the items that can't be displayed on your shelf, but if you're like me and you are a collector, then this is something that you should definitely pick up. It's rare and unique, I don't really see it that often, so yeah, definitely head to this location, pick it up, add it to your collection. Okay, so for the next location, you want to head over to the Landview Lighthouse, just east of Vault 76, and uh, you're going to come across this, well, big lighthouse, and if you head on the inside, you're going to see a bunch of lighthouse souvenirs that you can pick up. Now, there's going to be a few here, there's one on a pedestal and a couple uh, sitting in these boxes over here, and uh, they are quite big. When you display them on a display shelf, I don't know if they're quite the same size something tells me they're slightly smaller but they could be the same size but these are displayable you can put them on a shelf so if you want to go ahead and display these and impress some people go ahead pick this up so for the next location guys you want to head over to Helvashia just south of the Arctos farmer here on the map and uh, you want to head over to the honey horns now if you look in the windows, you can already see there's a bunch of different items on the shelves, and we can pick the majority of these up. However, there's only really a couple that we're after, and uh, that are considered more, I guess, rare, you can say. Um, the first of these is the Metal Beer Stein. Haven't really seen these anywhere else other than Helvashia. Um, I could be wrong, but I personally haven't seen them anywhere else. So you've got that. Um, we've actually got this really cool looking bird decoration. This is really cool. Um, don't actually see this in a lot of places. Very, very rare I actually see this in anyone's vendor or in any other location. So this is actually pretty nice. So we'll pick that up. And um, we've also got these house teapots. Now I do see these a little bit more often, but they are still pretty cool, pretty unique looking. And uh, we're going to pick that up anyway. And if we head over to the other side, you can also pick up another uh, bird decoration, another spear stein, and another teapot. Also, if you look on the shelf, there's also a chance for a little bear to spawn, and I got the bumble bear. So, not only are you getting some cool items there, you're also getting a bear, um, if you want to add that to your uh, bear collection. Okay, so for the next item and location, we're over at Tanagra Town. As you can see, I've already died here, and you can probably guess it's going to involve climbing. But trust me, guys, it's going to be worth it. So here we go. Here is, uh, well, where Tanagra Town, I guess, used to be. Um, we want to go ahead, head up here. Now, be careful. Take it slow, um, because the amount of times that I've fallen, and really, I'm taking this too fast now. I should really slow down, because I'm going to fall um, almost like I did just then. Um, see, this bit, this, oh, that was, uh, that was scary. Um, but we're almost there. We literally just need to make it to that bus. So here we go. We're at the bus now. Good, we're safe. And if we head inside, just behind this chair, you can find yourself a trumpet. So if you've wanted to live out the dream of being a musician, now you can, um, thanks to this. Now don't worry, this is not the only instrument I'm going to be showing you in uh, this video. In fact, the next location is going to be where you can find a bunch more. Okay guys, and so to get to that next location, head over to the Hornwright Estate. You can get here if you head to the southern side of the map, just south of Lewisburg. And once you get here, you want to take the elevator up to the top floor. Now, just a note that you're going to need to have completed the Motherload side quest in order to get the ID card um, to use the reader and use the elevator. Anyway guys, once you're on the top floor, um, if you haven't cleared the enemies out already, there are going to be a bunch of enemies here for you. I've already gone ahead and cleared, well, I believe most of them out. Um, but anyway, once you've left the elevator, okay, I'll try that again. Once you've left the elevator, uh, head left, and in this door here, it's going to be closed for you, I've opened it. In this door here, you're going to see this nice big piano, um, kind of in the centre of the room. It's titled Excellence. Mm -hmm. Anyway, take him out if you haven't already, and over in this display case, you can find yourself a violin. Right here, so there we go, we entered through there, there's a piano display case with the violin is over here. So from the violin, head back out, head to the further set of stairs up here, head up, and take a right, take a left to this first door, and I believe um, it's locked, can't quite remember, but in here, you're going to find a flute hanging up on the wall. Head outside, 
Take a left and you can find a nice snare drum in this display case. And if you turn around next to this pool table on the wall in these display cases on the wall, you can find an acoustic guitar and a banjo. Okay, so for the next location, I've got a couple more instruments for you guys. So come on over to the Cranberry Glade. You can get here if you head east of Watoga. And uh, you'll come across this bus. Now, if we head inside this bus and head towards the back, you will find an accordion, a steel guitar, and sometimes there is also, a, here we go, a chance of another trumpet to spawn and I believe this is the only other location for a trumpet now obviously guys I can't be 100% sure as I haven't explored every every single little location and area on this map but I'm pretty sure this is the only other location okay guys so we're gonna be bringing the video to a close soon you know times getting on um, so I'm going to show you two more locations that has a few rare and unique cool items in there. So the first one is Morgantown Airport. And uh, if you want to head over to this uh, quarantine kind of gate area and uh, look for the medical laboratory. And if we head inside and uh, head up these stairs here, you will see that over here on the table or on the uh, desk, we've got the jarred scorched hand. Now that's not all that's here. If we head back around into this back room, you can also find a fridge with a jarred scorched head and a jarred scorched foot. Now, there are a couple of other things in here. I believe there might be another jarred item in here. Let's just open it up and quickly have a look. Yes, we've got one more jarred item in here. And I believe there sometimes is a possibility for another one to spawn on this bottom shelf. I, it didn't for me this time, but hopefully you've got better luck than I do. And for the second location, see, told you guys it was very close. It's that Fraternity Row over in Morgantown. And uh, I'm pretty sure everyone's seen this location as of right now because it is literally in every video. But I'm going to put it in here purely because there are a bunch of items in here. And they are still kind of rare and unique. You still don't see a lot of these about. So uh, head inside the building. Head up these stairs. And when we get to the top, turn right. And you'll see a chessboard with a bunch of different chess pieces on here. But if you look again, you'll see that these are actually little toy robots. Each with the name of a chess piece. I actually forgot one thing. If we actually head back down the stairs, there are a bunch of other items in here that you can pick up. But if we actually head back downstairs and head into this employees only room, this is a really awesome little Nuka Cola room. You can find a bunch of different things here. You can find the toy truck, you can find some caps, you can find the souvenir plastic bowls, you can find a bunch of different Nuka Colas. And actually, this shelf can spawn loads of different nuka colors so always to keep a lookout you've obviously you've got the souvenir toy car you've got the souvenir coffee cup you've got a bunch of everything this is really a collector's paradise anyway guys with that being the final location this brings us to the end of the video i honestly hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully i showed you the locations of some cool rare and unique items that perhaps you didn't know about i do have a bunch more to show you guys but I will include those in a future video as it honestly would just increase the length of this video longer than anyone would like, believe me. Anyway guys, if you did enjoy the video, then a like down below would be greatly appreciated. If you could share this video around, that would be absolutely amazing as well. And if you know of any other cool items, please leave a comment down below and I'm sure you'll be showing me tons of new stuff in no time. Now guys, if you haven't done so already, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on to stay up to date with everything I upload. Thank you for all your continuous support, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next video.